So welcome back to Lens Life. So in this video we're gonna take some photos. I wanna practice my photo uh, skills a little bit here and there. So I've been taking photos now for a year that I've really been practicing photo skills. So my photo skills are around average than, um, well maybe even a little bit better than average. So the tips that I know I wanna share with you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. The camera I'm using is a 04 camera, it's an old camera. But it's a Fujifilm S3 Pro, so uh, it takes 4K video uh, photos, not videos. This thing does not take videos whatsoever. walk to our first location which is up ahead um, that I want to take so yes I am maybe a little bit overpacked a little bit here and there but yeah anyways so we're just gonna walk over to the next first location that I want to plan the there is one bad thing um, I don't know if uh, the Sun's gonna come out at golden hour because well there it is it is super cloudy so I don't know what it will look like um, if it's not gonna come out well I'll still take the shots and then it won't look as nice, but uh, okay. So for the first uh, photo that I'm gonna take, I'll need a macro lens because what I'm gonna do is take this leaf and put it in the grass. So and I'll take a picture from it then, and that way it'll look really nice and all that. I think you know, like I love how the green and brown really mixes together. They really blend really nicely in a picture. So if you get like a full color brown leaf, so I don't know how old this leaf is. It's probably from last fall, so it's definitely dead. But uh, yeah, I'll, oh here is, is actually a better leaf, so I'll take this leaf then. So, um, and then I'll take that one in the grass. So I'll need the macro lens for this one. So um, what I don't like about this uh, macro lens, it's only manual. So there's no out of focus whatsoever on it. So it's kind of hard to control for this m one. But uh, yeah, I also like because it also uh, it's a, it was an expensive lens. So um, this is actually a really old lens. This one was still from a SLR instead of a DSLR. If you don't know what that means, is basically a DSLR is digital and SLR is still with film and all that. So this lens was from um, an older camera that we used to have. And um, yeah, so I bought a converter for it. So now they fit, it fits on this one. So anyways, I'll uh, start taking the photo now. So let me just readjust you guys. So oh, this is gonna be the leaf that I'm gonna take. So um, yeah, let me just uh, readjust that really quickly. So by the way, um, if you want to take some good photos, you go take other angles that nobody has really no, um, seen before. That way, um, all your photos will be unique. So basically, go high, go low, do everything you need to do in order to get the best photo. And that way, well, everybody wins. You get the good photo. Everybody enjoys your photos. So yeah. Anyways, I'll just uh, take the photo, so let me just adjust to macro, and let's take the photo. Okay. Uh, okay. Adjusting it. Yeah, so this leaf is too big. I can't take this leaf. It's too big. Like, the grooves are too um, far through, so let's take this flat leaf. This one's a little bit more flat, so um, this one might work. So let's retry that one. Forgot to turn on my camera. There we go. There we go. Let's take it one more time. It seems to be a little bit blurry, so yeah, let's take it one more time. I think uh, I had it off focus, so yeah. Uh, three, two, one, take it. Yeah, that's a beautiful one there. I like that one. So here's for this next shot, I'll have to use a tripod because of I want to take that pagoda over there. So um, I want the tree, that tree over there, th that one, as foreground. Then this um, little the pagoda um, over there, I want as midground. And then the mountain, I kind of want as background all of those mountains too, you know, to br really bring in the depth. So I'm going to use um, this mountain here as a leading line to the pagoda over there. So that's the only leading line I have. And then, you know, the, in the water, you see this uh, shade of the mountain which I'm also gonna use as a leading line. So, um, so that's the camera that I'm gonna use. Again, so same camera, so yeah. Um, anyways, I'll just, so uh, yeah, let me just uh, go and take the photo and I'll show you guys the photo right here, again, on the same location. 
found this rock here. Um, it looks actually really interesting, so I'll put you guys on the big tripod in a minute, and I'll uh, put the big camera on this little tripod that I have here. So I found this little this rock here. It looks really interesting, the way how it's set out, uh, set up. I actually placed it like that entirely. So I actually designed that. Uh, this um, lens life uh, copyrighted. So yeah, don't take my idea. LOL, you, you can do whatever you want with the photo. It's your, if you're gonna take the photo, it's gonna be your photo. So I, what I'm gonna do is put the big camera on this little tripod, um, hopefully to get very long exposure because I'm gonna point it down. So uh, the water it might be pretty smooth. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, in just a second. So let me just swap you guys on the big tripod. Okay, so now we are gonna take the photo of the rock. So the camera is set up now completely. All I have to do is press the shutter button and it'll take the photo from um, more of a right angle than um, head on because if you do it head on, you're just gonna have a flat picture. It's gonna look 2D and you wanna make everything look 3D. So you really wanna take the photo uh, always more to the right or more to the left. So that way you'll have more depth in the picture. So let me just uh, head head on and push the shutter speed a shutter button let me put it on timer so it won't get any camera shake there we go yep okay timer's on okay just uh, opened it and closed it good that means we get the picture let me see it okay i actually really like that picture i love the way how it worked out so yeah anyways um Maybe we can move one more shot. Um, let me just show you guys how I set up a shot. So yeah, instead of taking, let me just yeah rearrange the rock over here. So let me just rearrange the rock that is right there. So uh, um, let me just, uh, yeah, show you guys over there. Now I'm gonna take the rock from when it's, look, now it's pointing towards the right. I'm gonna flip the rock around so it's pointing towards the left and take it from this angle to there. So that way it might uh, work nicer. So yeah. Anyways, let's. This is a heavy rock. Okay. There we go. Yep. I dropped the rock. There. Nicely. Okay. Um, maybe we want to put some of these um, strings over the rock so it looks older. Um, kind of like it used to be something, and this was left with it. Is so uh, kind of build a story around the rock, so it's not gonna be as boring. So let's put this leaf over there, you know, like just be creative, put some stuff over it, so it looks like stuff was growing from it. So since the string is on that side, I want to put this like that. That way, it looks like something was growing over the rock. Um, then you're mimicking a story, like it's some kind of old rock from ancient times and all that. So uh, yeah, let me just uh, create some more of these. So yeah. Um, let me just use this dead grass here. So I think there. Maybe it's a little bit messy here, so let's take some stuff off. I don't need that. Um, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. This looks really good, yeah. I'm happy with this, so um, now I'm gonna put the camera like right there, and then take the shot from there um, towards the other side. That way I'll uh, have a different angle photo, so yeah, anyways. Now, let's just take this shot. Yep, I think this looks pretty good. One yeah. twentieth of a second, so yeah. That is a really fast shutter. Oh yeah, this one's a lot better. So I really enjoy the um, second picture better with a lower f-stop so I'll show you guys the photo on the left is the one with a higher f-stop and the one on the right is the one with a lower f-stop I like the one maybe with a lower f-stop better because there's more depth in it so anyways let me know what you guys think and if you guys like this video then please smash the like button down below comment down below if I did anything wrong in this video I'm willing to learn and if I did something right what you want to see in the future you know like let me know down in the comment section below and also if you really enjoyed and if maybe you learned something from this video then please share the video maybe your friends will like to see it too so they can learn something anyways i'll see you guys in the next video of lens life